Hi guys. So now we'll see. Get started with the models API. So we have a uh, three units. Let's see one by one. The first one is what uh, learn the basics of the models API. So uh, which of the following is the best uh, use case for the models API? I'm going with the option C, an AI a dashboard with a custom UI and external API integration. So the model API supports a embedding model in the additional LLMs, right? That's a true. Then check this challenge to earn 100 points, right? So the first module was completed, first unit was completed. Let's go for the next unit. So for this, what we have to do, so we need to create a playground. Right, so just click on here, create a playground. Right, the system will send a, an email to you to reset the password. Let's wait, it will, it will take some time, just to wait for a couple of minutes. Then after, go and check your writer org okay i got the email so just to reset the password done i reset the password done i reset the password right so next so what we have to do so you need to enable einstein setup i go here Setup, Einstein setup. Einstein setup. Just enable this. And then after, right, you have to go to the session settings. Under the certain settings, right, so you have to check these options. So go here, session settings, click on here, session settings. Under the caching. right and check this done so go down then click on here save that's it so next what we have to do you need to install the uh, salesforce cli right uh, and then after you need to install the visual studio code also right in the visual studio code you have to add the uh, salesforce extension pack also right uh, so once you install the Visual Studio Code, you have to create a project. You have to create a, a project. So what was the project name? That is the Models API LWC. Copy this. Go here, Visual Studio Code. Right. So Control Shift P. Right. Just have to click on her. Select the Create a Project. Create the project standard. Just have to provide the name of the project. Then hit on Enter. Right, so where where you want to create that project, just I'm selecting my desktop, then click on here, create a project. That's it, right? So we created a project. Now, right, next what we have to do, so we need to authorize the org. We need to authorize the org right so control shift p we have authorized organized then click on that authorize the org right so before that so whatever the uh, username you have right you just you can go here the users click on that users Right, so this is the a uh, username. 
just to copy this. Now, now you can go to the Visual Studio Code. Control Shift P. Authorize the org. How to go with the the username, then password. Then click on here login. Then click on here allow. Done. So we successfully connected. We successfully authorized. So that's it for this challenge. What happened? Yeah, click on here, connect to playground. Click on login. Just allow. Yes, save it. Yeah, launch it. Let's go and check whether Einstein setup was enabled or not. Actually, it's enabled. Okay, so then go and check that challenge. Done. So we successfully completed the unit two. Next, we'll go for the third unit. So we have to create a custom class. Right. So we have to create a, an Apex class. This is the class. Let us copy that. Go to the uh, Visual Studio Code. Then Control Shift P. What's that? Class. See here, create an Apex class. Just hit on enter. Give me that name. Then hit on enter. Right. So system created uh, the class. Just uh, copy paste that uh, code. Whatever the code here they given. Just uh, copy this. Right. Paste it here. Then after save it just uh, control s save it right so we need to create one more uh, class right this is the class name copy control shift p Apex class. Oh. Apex class. Give me the name. Done. Copy paste this code. Save it. Right, so what we have to, we need to deploy into the org. So this is the classes, just right click on it. Here we have a, a deploy to source org is then just click on this uh, deploy to source org. Uh, let's go here, your org, this is the org. Just you can go to the developer console. Uh, go to file, click on here, open the classes see here so there was two classes right it means what it's deployed right so now close this developer console next next what we have to do so we need to create a, a lightning web component lightning web components right so this is the name right models api dashboard right so go here we'll close these the two classes Control shift p 
what is that to create a lightning web component give me the name then hit on enter next so we have a html code copy this html code go here html code paste it next uh, Okay, so we have to create a, a new file that is for the CSS, right? So copy this. So this is that, right? Just to click on this. So here we have a, a new file option is then click on that new file. Just copy paste that, right? With CSS extension, with the CSS extension, right? So this is my CSS file. Let's uh, copy this code. Right, so paste the CSS. This is the CSS. Next, in the JavaScript file, you have to paste this code. The JavaScript file. Done. Next, so in the XML. This is the XML code. Right, so let's save uh, all those things one by one. Done. Then after, you have to deploy. Right. So whatever the LWC component we created, we need to deploy this. Right. So just right click on it. Just click on here. Uh, deploy to source org. done next okay so just have to go to the uh, default org right control shift p just give me that prompt hit on enter It's open now. So by default, org means what was the org we connected to our Salesforce DX. Now, now what we have to do? Okay. I'll go to this setup. Right. In the quick find box, uh, just to how to home. Right, uh, select the home. The advanced seller home is there now. Setting to inactive. Just you can make it this one as inactive. Right now, next, what we have to just have to go to the sales sales application. Go here, app launcher, and search sales. I have to go with the edit page. This is a sales application. Just click the gaze icon. Then click on here edit page. Right. So just you can go here bottom. See here model API dashboard. Right. So this is the component uh, we created. Right. Uh, custom area right as the top of the page canvas right so top of the page canvas we need to add done 
done then after save it activate uh, assign default to org <laughs> now come here the top right we have save click on the save button then click on here activate then assign to the default org click on here save done once again click on here save button that's it right just to have to click on the back icon this is my sales home page right so we got that uh, component it would take some time i maybe i think let's go and see here so we got this right Right, so now go and check that challenge. Check this challenge. Done. So we successfully completed this model.